Well, hello YouTube, and hello to all of our friends and people that subscribe to us. Uh, we're kind of in a hiatus right now. Uh, Joe's been doing a little bit of work this week. Um, he got a uh, or developed a back problem last week, so we went from Thursday up until. What day was that, Joe? Tuesday when you went back or Monday? Tuesday. Went back up at the gym. Uh, he was feeling a lot better. And we did not warm up enough, and we did not warm up properly. And uh, after about 20 minutes of bag work, the injury was nagging him again. Uh, and the style that he he uses uh, is almost a full-blown peekaboo style that uh, Mike Tyson used, but maybe a little bit different, maybe a mix between Patterson, uh, Floyd Patterson and Mike Tyson, but it is really something on the back. And uh, we work the back very aggressively, uh, building back muscles because we're aware of all these things. Uh, but we're gonna have to come up with some better preparation, stretching in our warm up uh, for him. So today, we're gonna, he's gonna go up to the gym, we're going in and uh, he's probably gonna do about 25 minutes and that will be the norm. Uh, we're gonna come up with some stretches and different lower back exercises uh, for him to do in a warm up that we'll do every single uh, uh, wor workout before he starts going to town. And we'll put some of that up so uh, folks can see a little bit. Of course, we don't put much up, so but we'll put enough up that can lead you in the right direction if you're having lower back problems. Because, um, boy, they can be vicious. And uh, when you get into the style that Joe uses, well, he's got two primary styles. Uh, what we do is not the norm. Uh, uh, Joe has an additional style uh, that he does as well, which is more reminiscent of a mixture between a Cuban style and a uh, what they call a Soviet style of boxing, uh, which really we should just be calling Russian style of boxing nowadays, right? Uh, and not giving credence to that name. But uh, we're going to toot along and keep going. Uh, most of you know this. Joe works two and a half, three and a half, four hours, uh, five and six days a week. I mean, this kid's doing, obviously, is schooling. He's 15. He's making excellent, excellent grades. Uh, nothing under an A in any subject and then working himself like he does in the boxing as well. So just a tremendous gift from God uh, that I was able to somehow put in him a good work ethic to take pride and do the best he can at, at, at anything he does. So I'm very thankful to the good Lord for that. And... Uh, I want to apologize to everybody because I am a Christian, and every, every single one of you know this, uh, but I'm not a perfect Christian, and I've gotten riled up over uh, the past 10 or 12 days from everything to boxing judging and uh, amateur judging in the U.S. to... Uh, boxing USA itself and what I believe is being assembled a, uh, an Olympic team with not the 
boys that should be representing our country and uh, and other things. A father, I, I ran across, this had recently happened, it had happened earlier this year, uh, a couple of months ago, but a, uh, and the reason why I'm going to mention what color he is is because he was accused of massive racism and has been attacked online. But this black father was standing up for his little girl who weighed every bit uh, 85 pounds soaking wet carrying a backpack uh, and about a 240 pound or so uh, Latino boy and they were calling her the n-word uh, and the father replied back with some insults uh, to him like why don't, you shouldn't be here in the first place because he knew that their parents were here illegal uh, and he was born in Mexico and he told the kids you shouldn't even be here in the first place and uh, he had every right to say that and any father that their little girl is being pounced on uh, should be able to freely get upset and say what they want. So I backed this got this father 100%, and I got very angry about it, and I was boisterous, and I could have used better wording. Uh, my wordage was not good. Uh, but I don't, I, I do not, uh, I'm not feeling remorseful I'm feeling remorseful about the language, but I'm not feeling remorseful about the uh, about the anger that I had for that situation. That should anger anyone. Uh, but again, as I said, I could have been better in my wordage. I got way too vocal. Uh, And it's important, and I need to have better growth in my walk to present myself a little better. Uh, so, the God is with me. He is my King. My King is great. He's been wonderful with me. Wonderful with me. Um, you know, as all of you know, we live in Colombia. We had been in several neighborhoods where it was just very bad, even though they were nice neighborhoods. Uh, we got here where we're at now, a nice place, uh, an upscale place, but a lot of the crazy and the partying in the middle of the night and uh, people being ugly to one another and uh, it was just typical, uh, typical, uh, Latin uh, American behavior and it's typical so uh, there's no racism in truth folks uh, however uh, you know I contemplated moving yet again and I said nope not gonna do it and we're peachy king around here right now um, I still have a you know problems with people uh, showing favoritism over their own, over myself. That's not racism either. Uh, when they do that, it upsets me, but, you know, it's not racism. Uh, I can easily live through it, and I'm not being persecuted or anything like that. And... Uh, uh, but everything's worked. I stayed... Uh, and uh, my wife told me, be who you are. Con uh, command and control the situation around you like you teach Joe to box. She said, that's always command and control. And, and let's stay put and you do it. So I did, and at the moment, uh, I couldn't have a better relationship with the uh, chief of police here, with the uh, officers here, with the firemen here, uh, government workers here, and many, many people here. So, uh, 
a lot of people are treating me very, very well. Uh, I'm doing good financially here. Uh, and of course, we're going to be going back to the U.S. hopefully within a year. Uh, and I know I'm going to be struggling in the U.S. It's going to be a lot more difficult financially uh, for a plethora of different reasons. But uh, we're doing good. Everything's going great. Uh, had some, uh, really some fun, even though it was some tension, negotiating with uh, the biggest bank in Colombia and getting some things done I wanted to do. Everything worked out very, very well. Uh, and a very, very good advantage for me, uh, which I'm very thankful to the Lord for. Although the Lord is not in the banking business, I say this repeatedly, He's not in the home building, selling, or buying business, and He's not in the car business, and He's not in the job business and all of that. I repeatedly try to remind folks the apostles suffered greatly. Uh, possibly all of them, with the exception of one, uh, and in different ways, the one was tortured as well. But the apostles were tortured to death. So you got to think, you know, people are sitting here, God wants you to just have everything. Uh, I always warning people, be careful what you think and God wants for you. Uh, God can number the hair on our heads. And everyone should know, and especially churches and pastors should know, that if he can number the hair on our heads, then he's dealing with each one of us individually. And what he wants for Paul, might not, he might not want for Thomas or vice versa. And uh, you have to think and remind yourself as a Christian uh, that Christ didn't even own a bed to lay his head in. He didn't own transportation. He didn't own a home. And he was the king of all kings. But we'll know soon because he's going to come back as a soldier and in his glory. And he is not going to be coming to unite this time. He's going to be coming to divide and give justice. And I can't wait for that day. I'm not worried about it. So... Uh, much love to everybody. I got off on a tangent again. I can't help myself. But much love to my Christian brothers and sisters. And may my King bless each and every one of you Christian brothers and sisters. And to everyone else, I say love to you as well. And uh, end it like I do a bunch of times. Uh, if you get a knock on that door... Uh, be careful and make sure it is my king. And if it is my king, the king of kings, open that door and begin a friendship with him. You won't be, you won't be sorry you did. Much love, everybody.